Hello, guys. Welcome to EZTV Presents uh, Tech View, another episode. Uh, today, I will discuss about uh, physical server maintenance. So, physical server maintenance means um, actually the hardware maintenance, hardware, software update, but far more update. So, the far more update you're supposed to do uh, as a maintenance. So, for HP, <clears throat> is a, for HP, they have they release um, far more update quarterly or yearly you have to just follow their uh, portal and also uh, they'll they release their um far more update so you have to check their portal also so today uh, i'll show you guys actually how how you can search for dell and how you can search for hp and how we can you can download um download the far more file so actually uh, on the physical hardware there will there is a lot of components like components means your um, the hard drive, your uh, memory, CPU, BIOS, a lot of things it needs to be updated. So Bandu release individually each and every component plus they make an ISO file including all together. Um, so if you can download that ISO and if you can install it, you don't need to be worried about individual component. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. And we're gonna do it uh, Dell server. Uh, I don't have any HP, that's why I'm not able to show you guys uh, how you can do that on HP, but I, I'll, I'll be able to see you guys like how you can download from uh, HP so far. Let's start. Let me share my screen. Uh, all right. So all for HP, whatever HP server you have, you can just search HP, um, HP service, HP service pack for Prolin, DL, whatever model you have, you can just type it down and then you'll be able to get uh, support hp.com. So if you go this link, you'll get something. Or, or you can do like you directly type support.hp.com and then you have this page. And from this page, just go to the driver and software and type service pack for volume. SPP, service pack for volume. So service pack, HP, they call it service pack. And whenever you download the service pack, it's gonna download everything together. So you don't need to install individual component like BIOS update, uh, memory update, or driver update, or, or uh, drive update, hard drive update, or like CPU update. You don't need to do individually. So you can, if you download this ISO, and if you can install it through um, uh, ILO, then it's easy. And the whole process is gonna take like uh, one hour or more than an hour. So how are you gonna download? So when you search is through the driver and software after selection this, if you type this and search, you will have all these things. So one thing you have to keep in your mind, like, um, so before you apply the update, let us update, you have to log into uh, log in your, um, your target uh, server through the ILO, and then you'll be able to see which current version is running. So if your server is running, um, like, <clears throat> If you are behind of two, three update or four, five update, like for example, you are behind on, uh, you're in two, 2019, your server is running, 2019 update and, and latest is 2001, uh, sorry, 2021. So you cannot directly go jump to the latest one. So you have to find out 2020 update and then from 2020 update to 2021 update. That's the actual process. And also how are we gonna check it? So see here, uh, this service pack released on May 21st, 2021. And also which server model is compatible with this. <clears throat> you can check on more details and it will give you the hints. So HP, Prolian Gen 9 and Gen 10, Gen 10 plus. So if, you, if your server is on this model, you can download this one. And also, if you have update and your server is updated in 2020, then you can download this. One. But if your server is updated on 2019, then it's not going to be compatible with your machine. First, you have to look for 2020. So for 2020, this is the 2020. 
uh, and also check the more details. You have to check the model also. If it is comfortable, you can download it. So, <clears throat> and, now, and also you have, if you just click here, it will take you to the other page. And from there, obtain software, click here. Um, it might ask you for uh, your login or something because if you are work for a organization, of course, you'll have an account with HP. In that case, there is no obligation. You can just download, click and download. All right. So this is for the HP case. And for a Dell server, for Dell server, you can search platform service bootable ISO, for the model, whatever. It's not mandatory. So and then for, through the Google, you'll have, you'll have an idea to where you're supposed to go. So I searched it platform service bootable ISO. Uh, my, I have a, a Dell server, its model is R620. And based on that, I found the first of them. Sometimes you will not get on the first link, maybe second or third, you have to look for it. Um, so in my case, right now is the first one is uh, update PowerEdge service with platform service bootable ISO. I just right click on it and open link in a new tab. So when I open it, it's open this one. And after that, I have to look at for my, I have to look at, it's just open like this, like this. So I, I just scroll it down and then I find out my uh, server model. So I, I have a rack server with, uh, and model number is R620. So I click R620. When I click here, I, I, I got this page. So for, from this page, like, Dell is recommending you, this is the latest one. So you can download from here. Or if you want a uh, lower version, then you can you can just, uh, it's gonna be like this version. So you can expand it, you can see here, um, 21.4, that means April. So 20, 2021, uh, April, uh, they'll release one version. And 2020, they'll release another version. And 2020, so look like 2020, they'll release total three versions. And 2021, this is the older version of 2021 and also the latest one is here. It's released on uh, seven, that means in July. In July, they release another version. So it depends on you which one you are trying to download. So just click download and you will be able to download it. Uh, this is the ISO file. So that ISO file, <clears throat> you can, Mount on a CD or a DVD. You can mount it on DVD, uh, and then you can put this, that that uh, mounted DVD uh, this to the sub physical server CD ROM to the CD ROM, and and you can reboot the machine. That's how you can do. Or another way is after you download, after you download, uh, you can um, mount it through the iDrive because HP has an iDrive. So I'm going to show you guys actually how you're going to do that through the iDrive. So I have a server. Uh, this is my vCenter. So actually this server, I, I'm, my all this server is already updated, but I want to update, apply the update again. Um, Masterhost 2 elscom So this is the host. I already moved the machine to other host. So I can make it a maintenance mode. You guys can do that, like right? maintenance mode. If you want to just give you a warning, like if you have any machine, you need to move. So I already moved it, no worries. Um, so this machine will go, will go for um, maintenance mode in short time. And now I'm going to, um, I'm going to log in this machine through uh, iDrive. So my iDrive IP, uh, let me go from here. Uh, so it depends on you, like what kind of uh, iDrug IP you have. So mine is 192.168.1.1. Uh, this one is nine. So I'm going to log in there. And um, so the root one is, uh, the username is root by default. And the password is EL. VIN Kelvin is a default. I didn't change. Actually, uh, for the function, you're supposed to change it and submit. When you submit it with the default username and password, iDrag gonna give you a warning. Um, it says, do you want to change the password or you want to keep it? You can change it whenever you first log in. 
But in my case, I'm going to just keep it and continue because this is my home lab. I'm not worried about the even in the classroom. Um, so I'm just going to log in. And here, I, you see here, um, virtual console preview. You'll have launch option. So I just I just click on launch, and it's going to open with another window. So my ESX is running right now. Uh, what I have to do, I already download the uh, um, ISO file, so I, I just need to connect it. So when I download, I believe it's in my download folder. It's on my download folder. So I'm going to minimize it. And if you want, you can just run it like this. So you can say, so this is the second window to the iPad to just watching, uh, monitoring the machine directly. So connect a virtual media. That means it will work as a virtual CD-ROM. So when you click virtual media, you have this option and you can choose the file. So where's your file? It's under download, right? So you just double click on it. And then before map drive was out. when you choose the file, it's highlighted. So just click map drive. That means you are mapping the drive. And on the top, you can see it wasn't there before. When I click on map drive, it came here. Near virtual media is connected, this map one, and also the file name. And you can now close it. And also you can minimize this window. And this is the IDRAC window, right? So IDRAC window, now you can do a power cycle system full, uh, cold boot. So you can do a cold boot, click here and then click okay. Now the machine is going to boot. How you gonna monitor it? To the second window. This is the second window, right? So you will be able to see everything from here. Now it's reporting. So this is the actual system without going to database, uh, data, uh, data center or um, physical CD burning and inserting the CD. You have to go to physically on data center. But if you have a hydrate access, you don't need to. You can just work from your office desk or your, uh, from your home. Uh, so it's now machine is booting up. And um, for HP, it's really easy. HP, you just need to, the same way, you have to create a virtual cd ROM and you have to browse uh, to the location of it. Here, I have to go to BIOS Boot Manager, I have to go F11. F11. See, I click F11 and it's just entering BIOS boot manager. Whenever you have this, when you see these options, immediately click F11 for BIOS boot manager because you have to. So this is what you have to do. It's coming up. Uh, it will take time. Just wait for it for, uh, until it's come back. So that means initializing the firmware interface. Uh, you have to wait because it's nature of server. All right, so we get this boot manager, right? And from here, BIOS boot menu, UFI boot menu. So you can go BIOS boot menu. BIOS boot menu, when you click it, it's gonna load it again. Now from here, BIOS boot menu, they'll give you the options. 
whose tools from where you're supposed to be Google. Now, we know already we have we created a, a virtual CV, right? So just select the virtual CV to uh, keyboard down arrow. So you can just up arrow and down arrow. So virtual CV and then click enter. Now it says good to uh, bootable ISO CV. Okay, yeah, number one. You can click number one and click enter. And it's gonna be low. Because you have to do it very quickly because within the 10 seconds, it's gonna go, it's gonna check for one, and then if you don't input, it's gonna go for the second one. So very quickly, you have to put number one. Now it's checking the CV. And then Sharpie is going to start installing. And it will take, sometimes it depends on the server speed. It will take uh, maybe one hour or one and a half hour. But if you have a slow system, uh, it's going to take maybe two, three hours. So in my case, uh, my server is not that uh, first device like that web configuration, like uh, it's not it's not a like enterprise machine, uh, so that's why it's gonna take a little bit more time. But in office, like in the real field, it will not take that long. It's gonna take you like maybe one hour or one and a, one and a half hour. Uh, so this process is running. Just wait a couple of minutes. So it looks like it's working. It's doing something. Yep. So a lot of components, actually we don't know that like we need to update. And if you want to do individually on uh, component by component, then maybe you miss out something. But if you install through the ISO file, um, it will gonna install everything. It's gonna update everything. So you don't need to be worried about it. You just need to download the ISO file and then mount, mount on a, a virtual CD and then just reboot the machine. That's all. That's very simple. So it's gonna take time. Uh, we have to wait. Uh, I'm going to pause the. I'm going to pause the recording, and we'll be back when it's close. So look like it's working now. Uh, this goes to another step. It says still EMC update one by zero, copyright days. Wow. Getting system in one copy. It's gonna take time. You have to be like you have to wait for that.
So this uh, is done already. I have two in the open. Uh, as you can see here, uh, 192, 168, or 1.9. This one is old window, which I in before. Um, so, and if you look at on um, the BIOS version, firmware version is 2.606060. And this is the new window after uh, installation of like the firmware installation. Um, now you can check the firmware version right now is 2.6.5.6.65.65. Uh, so this is the latest one. So the previous one is, well, the previous one was this one. I have uh, mouse pointer issues. So the previous firmware version was 2.606060, and the newer version is firmware 2.656565. So that's how this is how you can upgrade. You can update uh, apply firmware update. So that's all for today. Uh, for um, Firmware update. And now the server machine looks like it's powered on. Uh, it's, it shows the USX side, so it's ready. Um, but one thing you have to remember um, so, whenever you're going to move the machine, whenever you're going to apply any patch, uh, a firmware update or anything, make sure you move the machine from the target host to the other host, and then put the machine as maintenance mode. And when you are done, after done, just take out the maintenance mode. You see here, it says uh, exit maintenance It says exit, exit, uh, exit maintenance mode. So do the exit maintenance mode. Now the machine is ready, and you can move back the machine, whatever machine you had before, you can move it back now. Uh, that's all for today. Um, and if you like this video and if, if you think it's helped help you, uh, please give a big thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe it and also click the bell icon. That's how you get my next video. And thanks for watching.